I'm going to put together some videos on the solutions to the test review packets. There were two packets uh, put together into one. The first part is on the basic differentiation rules, which are the constant rule, constant multiple rule, power rule, sum and difference rule, etc. And the second one is on the product rule, the quotient rule, and the chain rule. So the first one is a an example of the power rule, fairly straightforward. The derivative of x to the third is 3x squared. The second one, we should rewrite it before we try to find the derivative. So that would be written as x to the negative fifth. And then we use the power rule again. And so you end up with f prime of x is negative 5 x to the negative sixth. Remember, when you have a negative exponent, you have to decrease that by 1. You're actually going to make it a larger negative number. So it's negative 5 times x to the negative sixth power. Now, if I were to ask you to write that with positive exponents, you'd have to remember that the only the x to the negative six goes into the denominator. The negative 5 stays as a factor of the numerator. Right? So that would be the final state of that question. And I'm going to scroll up the screen here. OK, the next question then is 4x to the fifth, 3x to the fourth, 2x squared plus 5. We're trying to find the derivative of that expression. And this is just an example of the sum or difference rule. The derivative of a sum or difference is just the sum or difference of the derivatives. So we find the derivative of each term and then we add or subtract them together. Each term individually is just going to be either a, a power rule or a constant rule in this case. And so we get 20x to the fourth plus 12x to the third plus 4x. Then the derivative of 5 is 0, so that's our final answer there. OK, scrolling up, the next question is f of x is negative 2x squared minus 5 cosine of x. And we're trying to find the derivative of that. So f prime of x is negative 4x. And then we have negative 5 cosine x. The derivative of that is going to be negative 5 times negative sine x. And simplifying that a bit, we're going to get negative 4x plus 5 sine x. OK. Then uh, problem number 5. We're looking for the derivative of x cubed secant x. And we're going to need the power rule here, the product rule. I'm sorry. So uh, this does require a product rule since we have two functions of x multiplied together. And here the first function is x cubed. The second function is secant of x. And the derivative then is f prime of x is equal to x cubed, which is 1, d2, which is the derivative of secant, which is secant x tangent x, plus secant x, which is the second function, times d1, which is going to be 3x squared. And we can simplify that a little bit. Um, I guess there's more than one thing that can be done with that. We have a factor of x squared and secant x in both of those terms. So when I factor that out, I'm left with, in parentheses, x times tangent of x plus 3, I believe. And so that would be the final answer. So if you were looking for uh, zeros of that function, then um, it, some of them would be easy to find in that way. All right, so that's the answer to that one. And that's the first five problems then. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And we'll continue in the next video with these.